Injustice can come in many different ways, and sometimes when it's least expected. This video is all over the internet right now. Ernest Walker saying uh, he went to a Chili's near Dallas to get a burger. The chain was offering free meals to veterans on Veterans Day, and that's great. But he says when another customer challenged his military service, a manager came along and intervened, and not on his behalf. Instead, that manager took away his food. Take a look. Did you see my military information? Did you see my military? No, I'll leave as soon as you ask my two questions. The answer is no, I'm not answering your questions. Okay. Did you, did you see my military service? Did you see did you see my military service? Sir, no. There. Yes, you did. Oh, so that's a lie, but you already said you did because I had done on record. Yes, you did. People right there saw you. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, you did. Well, then, if you didn't see it. Oh, you no, now you're grabbing my food away from me? Oh, you're taking my food away from me now? I'm so sorry. I don't okay. know you didn't provide any okay. documents for me. Yes, sir. Yes, I did just provide documents to you, and they saw you. Chili's has apologized. Chili says the manager has been removed from his post. Joining me now, U.S. Army veteran with the 25th Infantry Division, Ernest H. Walker, and his attorney, Lee Merritt. Mr. Walker, thank you so much for being with us. Mr. Merritt, thank you. And Mr. Walker, may I just say uh, thank you for your service to start this interview, because I think you definitely deserve that and a lot more. Uh, tell me what happened thank, before thank you, you started. Um, yeah, you deserve it. Uh, tell me what happened before you started rolling the video. What led up to the video? Well, uh, I went, uh, you know, just to have a burger and take advantage, you know, of the uh, meal that they offer, uh, which I've done that, you know, uh, over the years. And um, I've lived in that area for 21 years, so I, I, I've gone to that Chili's before. And um, when I went in to, uh, uh, I was seated, I was treated with kindness by the uh, waitresses. Um, there was no issue with my service dog. And I sat down and uh, ordered my uh, burger. Uh, the waitress um, uh, brought my burger to me. I began to eat it. Um, then it took about 45 minutes of, uh, with 35 minutes for them to bring the burger and I, I ate it for another 10. Had to run an errand so I said could I get a takeout. Uh, it was around that time a, a gentleman and uh, he came by and you know I hate to refer to him as a white gentleman because you know I, I hate to try to see color but um, he, this gentleman started trying to befriend me I believe as so I thought and he started asking me questions and he asked me uh, was I in the 24th infantry and I'm like that's a quick trick uh, trick question, you know, uh, it's 25th because I, I wear this proudly. It's an elite unit. Not everybody gets to go to Hawaii. And uh, so he told me, he said, well, I served in World War II and uh, blacks didn't serve over there then. Um, you know, this is an old gentleman. Uh, he's probably stuck in his era. I don't let that uh, bother me. I'm not too sensitive about that. But I continued to, you know, to speak with him. Then he left, went to the restroom, came back very uh, quickly and started petting my dog. Then he left and came back to the restroom again. I'm like, this this gentleman really has a, you know an issue or something uh, with, with the restroom. Uh, it was around that time uh, the waitress brought my takeout order uh, with the uh, container. We put it in the container. I tipped her, and the manager comes from the same area that the uh, the gentleman walked to, and began to didn't address me, didn't say hello or anything. He just uh, started asking me, saying guest said that you are not a military veteran. And I was taken back by it, but I had my ID and everything. So he said, well, let me see your ID. I showed him my ID. Can I, can I yes, just interrupt for a second? Is there some truth to, the, um, to some of the reports out there that the gentleman who came and questioned you was wearing a Trump t-shirt? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, well, not a Trump t-shirt. He had an American flag as a shirt and he had a Trump, uh, I, was, I don't know if it was a, a sticker or a button, but it was a blue Trump on it. And um, yes, that, that is true. So did you get the feeling uh, that this was somehow political? Did you get the feeling this was somehow uh, race related? Did you get, did you have an immediate impression right away when he came and challenged you as to why he was challenging you? Initially, I didn't because you're expected to show your ID uh, mm -hmm. at some of the places that you frequent on a Veterans Day. But once he began to question uh, my service dog 
and I put two and two together uh, that the gentleman had spoke with them, yes, uh, it became very racial because I believe he approached me as if I was a black man trying to steal a meal. Uh, that I would uh, have the audacity to purchase a uniform and uh, try to impersonate a military uh, veteran. And uh, at that point, uh, I believe that the manager, uh, if this was the same time last year, that he would have never acted that way. Uh, it was definitely due to the uh, election and the temperature of America right now Ms. that he Walker, felt emboldened. I yes, want sir. you to, yeah, I want you to hold that thought for a moment because there are many different avenues you and, and Mr. Merritt sitting beside you can take. Um, and I'm going to ask you about that in a minute. But there's um, perhaps really no such thing as a free lunch after all. Shouldn't come with a side of humiliation, that is for sure. So what is the remedy? Back in a moment. Welcome to the Fiat Black Friday event. I'm Hill tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern on HLN. The Chili's restaurant chain has a promotion that sounds like a win-win. A free meal for veterans on Veterans Day. What could go wrong? Well, the idea certainly backfired when a Chili's manager questioned an Army veteran's service record and on this video actually snatched away his food. Joining me again, Ernest H. Walker is that veteran. His attorney, Lee Merritt, is by his side. Uh, Mr. Merritt, I want to address this question to you if I can. I understand that you were present for a meeting that, that both of you attended um, with the Chili's management, with the restaurant chain itself. How'd that go? The meeting went well. Mr. Walker was only available by phone because of a, a previously set doctor's appointment. Uh, but in that meeting, the uh, Brinker group, along with our attorney group, uh, we discussed ways that we could deal with this conflict. And we, we all wanted to take a positive tone. We know that it could, we could either go into confrontation or cooperation. And we're all looking for ways that we can use this unfortunate incident to teach the nation uh, that we're not maybe as divided as we seem and yeah. how, how we might uh, bring some good from it. I only have a couple of seconds left, but Mr. Walker, there's so many routes you can go, discrimination based on the Americans with Disabilities Act, race discrimination, emotional distress, the list does go on, but is that the route that, that you want to take? Now, as I mentioned, uh, and, and his attorneys are handling that, and that's why I sort of jump in on the question, but okay. we are trying to avoid uh, litigation. If it becomes necessary, we will, but the, the, the Chili's group have, has been open to discussions about it so that, so that litigation can be avoided, and again, we can work together to try to heal the nation. Well, you're both very kind to, to join me tonight, and uh, if I can say again, um, Mr. Walker, thank you for your service. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your service, sir. You deserve a lot of respect, and we appreciate you being with us. Thank you to both of you. Mr. Merritt, thank you as well. Thank you. Thank you All very right. much for having me. And thank, thank you, everyone, for uh, being with us tonight. It's been great to have you with us. We'd love to see you back here tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, Primetime Justice. Forensic File starts right now. A murder victim's son was the first to suspect that his mother's death was